Hello everybody, this is me again. It's been a while since I actually have been with you guys and well anyway I'm back here. I wanted to do a late latest video. First of all, a lot of you guys might have realized that I did take down my eBay sales uh, because I'm working on, on new products I'm going to be putting out and stuff. I also have another uh, thing in the works right now and you know I haven't had the chance to be out there but i what i wanted to show you guys today is a bank that came out in 19 the early 1960s and it was if i remember it was the reason it actually came out was because it was inspired by the adams family and they called it the thing bank and apparently when the thing bank came out um it was done by pointer products uh an early version of the thing bank uh, I don't have it here with me right now I have it in somewhere here in my storage I, I don't so I'm, I'm, this video is a quick video I don't have time to to actually get it but I wanted to show the different versions that came out when the first Adams family thing came out in the 1960 the bank it's I mean the artwork on the box is fabulous I love it but uh, here we have a version of the second Adams family bank that came out in 1992 when they remade the movie uh, and you guys know what it does. It's obviously the classic. You, you put a, you know, a dime a quarter there, and, and out comes the hand. Now, this bank inspired a lot of versions that came out after. Uh, one was very famous that was sold in the um, famous Monsters of Filmland. It was called Monster in the Box. What that did is you had the same black box. Now the the newer versions are actually almost a quarter less in size than the original 1962 version which is wider and bigger from the 1962 version they had monster in the box then they had a second version of it which was um the dracula bank uh there is a very rare that i have it i i got it for almost 300 dollars a few years ago which is the monsters but it was produced in spain and it'll say the monsters over here uh well this bank in particular, uh, one of the hardest ones to get that took me years. In fact, I only got it, believe it or not, about two years ago. And I, then I was able to get two of them, is the anti-bank. <laughs> it's the same as this, but what it does is when you put the coin, instead of coming out like monster in the box, which the hand would come out and turn off the lever and then go back in. Well, this particular one, what it did is it threw the coin back at you. So what it would do is when you would put the coin, it would fall in and it would make noise. And of course, the box would you know go up and down like it usually does. It's this little stick that's down here that pops in and out. And it would shoot the coin back at you. That version uh, it took me quite some time. It was sold in the Johnson Smith catalog in the 70s. And I always wanted it, but I actually never ordered it. So I was finally able to get one. And then a week later, they had another one on eBay. So that was a classic on its own. I was able to get it. But anyway, what I wanted to show you guys is one of my favorite versions of the Adams Family Thin Bank is when they, they came out with this one. And the, the reason this is my favorite, uh, this one was done in probably the mid, late 70s, early 80s. And what it does is it's the same bank, obviously. Uh, it doesn't have the logo for the Adams Family, but, uh, you know, I, I actually... <laughs> See here it is. It's uh, it's just the bank. It's it's the same size as the Adams family, as you can see. Let me put them together. See here, they're both the same size. Uh, the only thing is one obviously is uh, doesn't have any artwork, and the other one has the insignia for the Adams family. Uh, this when they do come out, they sell for an average I don't know seventy eighty dollars. I still have two dozen of them in the original box and. This was just one that the box, you know, I, I lost the box uh, a while back in because I had a fire in a storage facility many years ago and, and the fire caused the box to, to get wet, whatever, so I threw it out. The inspiration of the, of the bank recently, um, which is funny because if you go on the internet, you'll see that a lot of people uh, want to question... Not question, but they, they, they say that they invented something that comes out with whatever, and, and, and as they're coming out with a new product, they, they'll try to say that they inspired this product. The whole thing is that the monster in the box 
was one of the first original banks back in 1960. In in I think it was in 2003, 2004. DYI, do it yourself. Or I, I, if I remember, the website was called Indestructible, which is still actually in business today. Well, anyway, Indestructible made a box called the Useless Box. And what it does is it's a little wooden box, and you turn the lever on, and out pops a little hand and turns itself off. And you turn the lever on, and they've made over 50 different variations of it. One is where the, the box itself will open up and close, open and close on its own without you even pushing the lever. And it kind of, I like that particular one because it looks like it's haunted. You put it on your counter, you turn the lever on, it'll turn off. But then when the lever is off, it'll still go in and out a couple of times. So that, that's a particular nice one. Uh, but anyway, if you go right now on Amazon, you'll find like 50 different variations of it. What inspired that item was really the monster in the box because it's the same thing. It's a... It's a single mechanism. It has like a crank and it goes around and, you know, um, it's the same thing. It's just a, a different era. They came. Now, another one of my favorites that was very popular was the Top Secret Top. Now, the Top Secret Top, as you could see, they had different boxes that, that they came out with. Uh, they were sold in Johnson Smith all the time. And this is the top that you put a battery in it and it seems to basically spin forever. Um, I'm careful as I open this because all my items are <laughs> mint in its original box. And the little top is in here. I'll take it out to show you. Um, this this one item here is is where what you do is you, you put a battery and, and you know you, you spin the little top in the top and it'll spin for days and it's awesome. I love the product and the fact that it said secret top secret top made me buy it. As a kid, I believe I have about four or five of them. Um, I don't know how it's been possible for me to keep all my products. Uh, I don't know why I've kept all my products in, in such good condition. I, I really don't ever open them. I've had them since I was a kid. <laughs> uh, and, and as you can see, here's the original box. Uh, it even has the original metallic insert with whatever instructions top secret memorandum it, it tells you about the research they did and and how this instrument it says here uh date april 1 2001 research coordinator department of Un unidentified flying objects research staff director rotating device and base so they, they added this really as um i don't know as an insert to to talk about UFOs, I mean, for people to think it's something to do with UFOs, you know how it works. Now, so you know, I can't, I can't get it back in here the way it was, and that bothers me. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I was, I actually was inspired to talk about it because I, I, I was working on my Adam's Family little bank here that I had lying around, and I also have like the Dracula version, and I have two different types of the Dracula versions all together. I have about maybe 37 or 40 of this banks. I actually have a picture that I'm going to post it a couple days if I find it. And what the picture has is it has all the banks I have lined up one next to each other. I have two monsters in the box. Uh, Pointer product put out the Dracula bank. I have the two different versions of the Dracula bank, which is the... I have the Dracula bank that has, it, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It has like a box. It has like a little phantom trying to reach it, which is really cool. It's a cool box. And then I have the plain black box with the red thing that says Dracula version. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd bring you up to date on my, my new stuff. And you'll be hearing from me again. Thank you.